Hey, how's it going everybody? It's the boss here with another bit of a gaming discussion. Now, I know I haven't done one of these videos in some time, but I figured I'd get the ball rolling and at least do some videos that weren't related around memes or whatnot. But uh, first off, I want to say at the beginning of this video too, if anyone out there is interested in helping make customized thumbnails for some of my gaming reviews, please get in contact with me. I have my buddy Reject who helps me, but for me to use the videos well enough to put them out on a consistent basis, I'd like to have a thumbnail that represents the video well enough. So what I'm really looking for for that kind of thing is someone who can integrate myself into the game itself. Like for what Reject's done on the Nostalgia Factor, which is my alternate gaming channel. So if anyone is interested in doing that kind of thing for customized thumbnails for certain game reviews, get in contact with me and uh, we'll go from there. Now the main reason I'm making today's video is you guys know the game Cuphead, right? Cuphead is by far one of the most renowned video games of its time for its artistic style, for the cartoony aspects, for how hard the game is, but for how challenging and how rewarding it is to conquer the amazing boss fights and visuals. It's needless to say, it's a pretty, pretty big spe spectacle, especially for a game that came out in 2017. However, a new game has popped up recently via a Kickstarter project called Enchanted Portals. Upon first glance, a lot of people are assuming this game is just a knockoff and ripoff of Cuphead, and I've noticed the game for as good as the trailer looks and how these developers who don't appear to be a big company in the first place are getting a bunch of flack because apparently people again are accusing them of ripping off Cuphead. So today I am here to discuss my opinion on this matter because it's pretty recent and also why I disagree with you. The main criticism that I keep seeing for general or for specifics it's that Enchanted Portals is a blatant ripoff of Cuphead. That's what everyone's been tatting all over the internet most people have been touting over the internet, and I looked at their Kickstarter trailer. Not only does it look well animated, but it looks like they have its own original story and characters completely separate from Cuphead. So I know that a lot of people think that the design of it with the boss fights and the setup and the cartoony nature of it is from Cuphead. I very much doubt these animators ripped off Cuphead, more like it's an inspired piece. This game is going to be its own original thing, but it didn't steal anything from Cuphead. There's one thing a lot of people fail to realize, I think, when it comes to a genre, and it's similar to some things on YouTube. When Cuphead came out, yes, it was the first game of its kind to really do the cartoony 1930s rubber hosing aspect integrated with into the game itself for the imagery, the music, and everything else that included. It may have defined a genre and may have created its own, but you must understand, Cuphead does not own that genre. Enchanted Portals, again, is part of that genre, but people seem to assume that because Cuphead did it, it all belongs to Cuphead. Anything created similar to it is a ripoff. Same thing with YouTube videos. Someone could... Someone, like a YouTuber like YouTube, PewDiePie, for example, could do a video about Minecraft, right? And someone could do a video pretty similar to his. Like, say he makes a giant tower. Well, someone gets inspired by him. They're like, you know what? I want to make a tower as well, but I want to add my own features and designs into it. So they make a completely separate world, make completely different design, different colors, you know, dungeons, traps, characters, all that stuff. And then people are just going to call it a blatant ripoff. There's a difference between ripping something off and having something inspired from it. So I feel like in this case, especially especially concerning this game here, that Enchanted Portals is not ripping off Cuphead. I don't understand why people are coming up with these arguments that it's, it copied it. Again, Cuphead may have defined a genre and may even have created its own, but it does not own it. Now, I'm not completely naive to the fact that YouTubers and games in general in the gaming industry have actually ripped off assets. If you take a character from a game, or you take areas from the game, and you take different, like, lands and dungeons or whatever you take from the game, and you just put, like, another color palette on it and whatnot, then, yeah, you're stealing from the game, all right? I mean, at least give credit where credit's due for the inspiration and whatnot of it. But I feel like, again, in this case, this game doesn't deserve all the hate that it's been getting as of late because it's coming up with its own original ideas. Again, there's a difference between an inspiration and stealing something. If they would have taken Cuphead and put it in this game, or they would have come out with, like, another alternative, like, utensil character, then maybe, yeah, you can make a case for it. But from the look at this game, these developers are putting a lot of work into it. They're using Cuphead as an inspiration to create an entirely brand new and unique game that they're hoping to launch to themselves. Again, based off the same genre that Cuphead helped define. Again, the main point that I just want everyone to take away from this is I don't think Enchanted Portals is stealing from Cuphead. I think that it's inspired from the game, and it's making its own version of it. And from the look of it, the boss fights are completely different and unique. The characters themselves are completely different than Cuphead and Mugman. And the stories themselves 
are going to be completely different and unique from each other. I very much doubt this game is going to be about a deal with the devil where you sold your soul in a casino and you have to go and beat up a bunch of other people to steal their souls in order to save your own. So I very much doubt this game is going to revolve around that. The characters are sucked into a book. Need I say more? When was the last time Cuphead did that? That guy in the tutorial. That doesn't count. So overall, guys, I just wanted to give my brief opinion on this. You guys can disagree with me if you really want to. That's perfectly fine. Everyone has opinions here on the internet. I mean, if you didn't, it wouldn't be the internet. But I will say this. It's ridiculous that this game is getting a ton of hate because people are thinking it's stole from Cuphead. Again, I very much disagree. I very much see it as an inspiration. But again, everyone has different opinions, and that's perfectly fine. Let me know your guys in the comments section. I know that this has been a pretty ongoing debate for this genre of game, and especially this new Kickstarter that was announced. So I'm curious to see all what you guys have to say. But other than that, though, if you guys enjoyed this little gaming discussion, let me know in the comments section, and I might do more of these in the future, just kind of brief videos giving my opinion on some certain subjects. And um, if you guys want to see more, give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to catch other videos like this one. Or you guys want to go and see some upcoming projects I have working on. Uh, the Meme Showcase 6 is still coming up, guys. This was just a little quick side video I wanted to do. Given my opinions on what I think is a really stupid debate. I mean, but that's just me, like I said. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. Peace.